The streets of London were crowded today as people came from all over the country to make their voice heard. With Brexit delayed until April, on Friday it was suggested that MPs could be asked to vote on the Prime Minister's deal for a third time next week. The, the most orderly way to leave was to back the deal. Now, other members have had a different view. There will be, I fully, the government fully intends uh, to have a uh, meaningful vote uh, next week. And, as a consequence of the vote, either way, I am sure that a statutory instrument will be introduced into this House in the early part of this week. That's the uh, time frame that I have been led to believe. I think that's where we are. But people's vote campaigners believe members of the public will need their say on the future of Brexit. It looks like a million people have you know, had a, a huge festival in support of a people's vote. We've had a march, people have been out with their children, their grandchildren, all demanding that this matter now goes back to the British people. It started with a referendum, it should finish with a referendum, especially now we know what Brexit looks like. It's clear many are suffering from the Brexit fatigue. Brexit's a total nightmare and yeah, we want to stop it. Yeah, we're better off in than out. It's so important that we be in the EU. Things were working out quite well as they work. Labour's Tom Watson was one of the speakers at today's march and he had a message for Theresa May. I will support your deal going through Parliament or a revised deal if you can get one with my party. I will help you get it over the line to prevent a disastrous no deal that Brexit. But I can only vote for a deal if you let the people vote on it too. That's the only way. Though more passionate Remain campaigners like Nicola Sturgeon were clear about why they thought a vote was needed. What we say today, put this back to the people and let Get that little piece of dandruff off.